this model was not produced in Russia. Perhaps for this reason, a lot of used cars come to us from the secondary markets of Europe. Rolling up the mileage is not a problem. According to official dealers, there are about 80% of such cars. There are no complaints about the all-steel body, hood with wings among them, apart from isolated cases of tarnishing of the chrome body kit. Sometimes, glossy pads were changed under warranty, but more often they refused, there is little that can withstand the chemistry of road builders. The car used two types of multiplex with a proprietary van and a more familiar CAN bus. There are no complaints about both, despite the abundance of electronic components, there are more than a dozen of them. Drowned cars do not count, they are very likely to fail. Of the interior equipment deserve attention, perhaps. Only the front seats. The pillows are easily squeezed through even under the weight of a frail rider, not to mention the hero. If you got a car with one key, we advise you to quickly remove the second allegedly lost one from the immobilizer memory. The procedure is comparable in cost to a cure for insomnia. Although, admittedly, fawns are not in demand among the hijackers. Pay attention to the work of the washers. If the liquid barely splatters, then the pump is about to die. Usually this happens due to dirt that got into the tank along with the water. Engine. The 16-valve ET-3 engine, based on the ancient 8-valve TU-3, is very reliable. ETZ engine with manual gearbox. In our opinion, the most successful combination for this model. The EP-6 motor jointly developed by PSA Peugeot Citroën and VMV, which at one time earned the title of engine of the year, turned out to be not very reliable. What the manufacturer did not do. I changed suppliers, materials, fine-tuned the design itself, all to no avail. Problems with excessive and fleeting chain elongation remain. This is especially true for turbocharged engines, EP6DT, EP6DTS, and EP6DTX, motorsport only. Sometimes, over 15 to 20,000 kilometers, this bicycle chain lengthened by the limit of 3 to 4 millimeters, because of which the signals diverged at the angles of the positions of the crankshaft and camshaft. It's easier with the aspirator, in addition to a flashing light bulb on the instrument panel, detonation error, and a slightly blunted motor, you most likely won't notice other deviations. In turbo versions, with extreme discrepancies in the corners, the electronics itself, and without any warning, will turn off the turbocharger. Losing about half the power at the time of intense overtaking is an unpleasant surprise. Transmission. Another thing is the robot aggregated with it. It used to be that the clutch was changed almost through MOT. That is, after 30,000 kilometers. It's just that the owners often stood idle in traffic jams in the drive mode. In addition to clutch wear, this increases the load on the crankshaft thrust rings. Sometimes they had to be changed at 150,000 kilometers. And you just need to switch to neutral, which, unfortunately, the instruction manual does not teach. On a car with a manual gearbox, clutch lasts much longer than 120,000-150,000 kilometers. The first sign of wear is the noisy operation of the drive, clearly audible when the oil filler cap is removed. If the check engine light is on, get ready for a major overhaul. Not only the chain itself is subject to replacement, but also sprockets with disposable fasteners, dampers, and tensioners. According to the official version, gasoline with the high tar content is to blame. Say, because of the nickname. Settled in the valve guides, the resistance to rotation of the camshafts increases and, consequently, the load on the drive. But it seems that this is not the only thing. The drive parts look too frivolous when compared with similar ones from other motors. And the main reason, perhaps, is the unsuccessful design of the hydraulic tensioner, which is devoid of a counter-move blocking mechanism. When the engine is off, the pressure in the oil line drops to zero and the plunger moves back under any external influence. Therefore, at the time of the next start, until the pressure of the machine reaches its nominal value, the chain clangs for several seconds, breaking both itself and other parts. In addition, there are no keys or pins in the sprocket's shaft connections, fixation is provided only by friction when tightening the central bolts. Sometimes, the sprockets turn, which also made a significant contribution to the phase difference. In order to at least slightly reduce shock loads, we recommend a simple trick. In the version with the manual gearbox, we leave the car standing uphill in reverse gear, and downhill in first gear. Then there will be no pressure on the plunger from the chain shoe. With the automatic transmission and the robot, we use the handbrake. First we transfer it to the working position, 
and then the gear shift lever to the parking mode and only then turn off the engine. But this is only in the summer. In winter, so that the pads do not freeze, it is better not to touch the handbrake and find a flat parking area. Another problem with EP6 is the temperature sensor. Due to non-permeability, antifreeze got into it, which is why the sensor began to lie, the motor was frozen, and he complains about overheating. Therefore, there were difficulties with starting the engine, up to a complete failure. On Euro 4 versions, the sensor could be changed separately, but on Euro 5 only assembled with an expensive thermostat. There were problems with the turbocharger, due to an unsuccessful configuration and a small section of the oil tube, blood clots formed in the latter with all the ensuing consequences, including oil leaving the cochlea. Since 2010, a new type of pipe has been introduced, worries have diminished. A frequent partner in tandem with the EP6 engine is the AL4 automatic. Borrowed from ZF, model HP16. No matter how they brought it, they still did not make it a work of engineering art. Improvements to friction clutches, all kinds of jet bushings, valve body configuration did not help. Last attempt to switch to Borg Warner solenoid valves, according to reference PR 2221.17. Alas, also was not successful. It used to be that a brand new car could not move out of the car transport. Machine. Dealers did not repair AL4. At best, they changed the donut, valve body, or valves. And they recommended changing the oil every 30,000 kilometers. Although the regulations do not provide for such work, it was noted that this was not idle advice. The updated fluid often extended life to 200,000 and sometimes up to 300,000 kilometers. But if the car has already traveled 60 s 0,000 km without changing the oil, this train has left. Experience shows that with such a run, a fully functional automatic machine after an oil injection can immediately mope. Experts believe that the matter is in the chips that clog the channels of the valve body. Indeed, in addition to the coarse gauze filter and magnets from the bottom of the crankcase, from which there is little sense, there are no barriers. Sometimes even specialized third-party organizations do not undertake to repair the machine. What if they take the risk? Then they give only a symbolic guarantee, at best a month. Yes, and these specialists can be counted on the fingers.